Welcome back to the channel, it's Lisa here, um, or welcome to the channel if you are first time here. Thank you so much for being here. I'm here to do a reading for the uh, zodiac sign of uh, Pisces. Uh, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs for the month of January 2022. Uh, please remember it is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with every um, Pisces that will see this message, but I do hope it's going to um, resonate with many of you guys. I um, have gone ahead and pulled the energies ahead of time because I am trying to save time on my reading so I can get more done, hoping to be able to post uh, a couple a day rather than, you know, one every couple of days. So, um, yeah, trying to keep my reading shorter. So um, I'm going to still give you the same messages, but try to be a bit more concise with them as well. So, guys, please don't forget um, to like this video, to share it. If it helps someone else, uh, comment. I love hearing from you guys and how it resonates with you. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. And let's get started. All right, like I said, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. If this does not resonate with you, please, um, you know, take the roles as they resonate. If it does not fit, then don't force it to fit. Um, you know, the roles can, um, you know, flip, flop and reverse as well. Um, so do be mindful that, you know, you, you could be potentially um, hearing a message that kind of goes back and forth between the two, you and your person, because it is a general reading. I am doing um, private readings now, guys. So if you are interested, check out uh, the email below uh, and contact me there about that. All right, let's get started. All right, so I've got a really clear message for you, Pisces. Super, super clear message, and I love those kinds of readings. You know, it doesn't take a lot of time and effort to figure out what the message is here. It just comes through, like, glowingly, like an epiphany, right? So the, the very overall, the overall energy of the message that I got is the chariot here from my beautiful new Modern Love uh, Tarot deck. So um, that's the very first card I pulled. So this is the overall energy of your read, Pisces. I'm seeing here, and again, this is kind of Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy for me. Um, you know, this is about, you know, this is about um, knowing what you want, right? This is about being victorious, being successful and charging towards that. Um, in this particular deck, we're seeing someone who looks like they're very um, single and they know what they want here. They've got their two dogs, they're content, they're happy. They don't really need um, anyone to, you know, fulfill them. They are, you know, feeling fulfilled of themselves and they're very happy the way they are. So I'm seeing a single, I felt a very single energy from the very beginning and I just uh, kept going and getting the messages and I'll, I'll clarify them to you in a moment. So overall energy I felt was someone who's very single, very abundant, someone who knows their worth, someone who's been through a lot, is now ready to charge towards a successful future. You know, that they, they, uh, they know exactly what their worth is, they're not willing to, you know, settle for any less, they're not willing to tolerate any crap that they have in the past. And here they are, you know, with their doggies, you know, lover and I love dogs. So I can relate to this message, you know, she's completely content just walking her dogs in the park, you know, in the city, um, but she knows what she wants. She knows exactly what she wants and she's not going to, and she's not going to settle for anything less. So that's the overall energy of the reading for you, Pisces. I see you in a very single energy at the moment. I do feel like you've been through a lot here and you are now, um, you know, you know um, what you want and what you don't want is what I hear. So next energy I got from the Island Time Oracle is a separation energy. Wasn't surprised really to get that. So, you know, this shows me that you are in separation at the moment. You might be feeling a little bit sad. You might be, might be a little bit unsure about the future. You might be thinking about a specific person that you've just broken up with. Um, from the uh, Romance Angel, I've got unrequited love. Um, so this for me feels as though the person, Pisces, that you were in a connection with recently, um, either you didn't feel like they were enough or they didn't think that you were enough. Now, it doesn't have to be attraction. It does say, you know, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel more as though um, there was just something in this connection that was... Um, you know, stopping it from being successful. So it wasn't it wasn't quite um, unrequited in that, you know, one person wanted one person more than the other. There was some kind of imbalance in this connection. There's some kind of um, uh, wedge that was drawn between the two of you that caused you, um, you know, to, to be in an energy where it wasn't successful. Um, and then I got, you know, at the bottom of the deck, from the same deck, I've got the finances and career energy. So I do feel as though um, Pisces, your message is more about someone who was more focused on where they were going in their career in their job, in their life, than they were on the connection at the time. Um, take it as it resonates, but that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing someone here who was more focused on finances. This is like, you know, a seven and eight of pentacles, someone who, um, four of pentacles, someone who's just focusing on their, uh, building their wealth here, you know, getting money in the bank, getting themselves established here. I feel like that was their priority at the time. Maybe they've not been so good with their money in the past. Maybe they've had a lot of downfalls in financial um, you know, circumstances or even in work and, and career. So I feel like they're really focusing on bossing up here, kind of emperor energy, wanting to, to get their shit together, wanting to, you know, be more established, be more successful so that when they do come together with someone, they're in a more established, successful, independent energy rather than relying on 
um, you I'm hearing or the person that they're with or you know just not feeling like they're worthy of that because they don't have that you know financial background behind them I see someone who is quite material someone who is very focused on you know the toys that they have the money that they have in the bank the jobs that they have the status and the, what people think about them is what I'm seeing so I do feel as though um, your person Pisces uh, or it could be you is very focused on career and that's what really took them out of this connection finance and career was definitely impacting this connection um and then the next energy I have is let your friends help you. And I do feel as though, you know, after this breakup, you really did have to rely on friends, you know, holding you up. I'm hearing friends helping you get through this very challenging ending. I do feel as though it was very hard on you. Um, and um, yeah, friends, you, you know, you had to really rely on your friends here to lean on. They might, may, they may have been the kind that would come around and eat ice cream with you and watch, you know, sad, you know, sad, soppy love movies and, and you know, really feel for you in the energy. Because I see a connection here that had a lot of potential but um, didn't quite get there because there was something lacking here. I feel like the person that you were with Pisces was more focused on their career and their finances, on building stability. It was kind of just like, almost like timing was out here. You know, you guys seem to be the right match. You, you guys seem to have it all. You guys seem to be very well connected and, and be very good together. People admired you, admired your connection. People were even jealous of your connection, I'm hearing, like friends. But I do see also that someone, uh, one person, I feel Pisces like it's your person, the other person um, was a lot more focused on getting themselves established at this point in their career at this point in their life whereas you were just ready and happy to have whatever you know you were really you were willing to do whatever you needed to do to make this successful and I feel like this person wasn't quite at that place you know they were focusing on on gaining that abundance and stability um, even if it meant you know dropping the connection at the time so it is all about timing connections and it could have just been a really poor time for your person they may not have felt as open and, and loving and giving as you felt at that time I feel as though you Pisces were ready to kind of do whatever you needed to do to help this work whereas your person wasn't in that energy they weren't giving as much as they needed to to help this to balance out and have something you know really beautiful here even though there was the you know um, even though there was the capacity for you guys to have that they weren't prioritizing that at the time they were more focused on career and finance is what I'm seeing okay um, so that's what's explaining this unrequited love. I don't feel like, I do feel as though your person had a lot of love for you. I just feel like it was more, or just more not in the right energy, not in the same energy as you at the same time, right? I feel like that's kind of a timing issue here. From the um, uh, Work Your Life Oracle, I've got Dance With Life, do something to change your energy. So I do feel as though after this ending occurred, after this heartbreak, you relied on your friends here, you relied on um, getting yourself back on your feet here. Here you are showing up in a very single abundant energy, walking your dogs and, and just being happy in and of yourself after the separation, after someone, you know, focused on their finances and career. Um, you are, you know, focusing on shifting and changing your energy here, Pisces. You are the most intuitive zodiac sign in the zodiac. So I do see you focusing on yourself here and really um, focusing on building yourself up here and building your energy. And that's what I'm seeing here with the overall energy. Um, from the um, Universe Has My Back um, Oracle, I've got I Surrender to a Greater Power Than Me. I feel as though you kind of, you know, had to, uh, you know, kind of suspend yourself a little bit here and just and just hold back a little bit on, on your hurt and just let the universe do its thing, you know. You surrender to the universe here um, because you know that, you know that the universe is, is a power greater than you. So you're kind of just like letting the universe guide the way here. If this wasn't meant to be at this time, what is meant for me? What's going to happen? So let's get another energy here. So um, from the <laughs> Love Oracle, I've got weight, you know. Um, don't rush into it, allow nature to take its course. And I feel like this is you kind of being out of this connection, being very hurt and upset by it, but also spirit is, you know, telling you here to wait, to hold back, not to rush into anything, not to try and fix this too quickly, um, not to try and, you know, rush in and, and, and think that you need to do something here. You do need to kind of change your energy here as we got from the Work Your Light Oracle. We, we do need to surrender to the universe and allow what's meant to be to happen. Um, so spirit does want you to wait here. Okay, um, and from the bottom of the decks, um, from the bottom of the um, Island Time Oracle here, I've got the axe here. You can't make this stuff up, guys. This is all about a breakup, a separation. It's about stopping the pattern. Um, it's about, um, you know, silent treatment, abandonment. So I do feel as though you, you've suddenly stopped talking to this person. There's been an ending. It's been very shocking, very hurtful with this axe here. And then we've got the phoenix here. You're going to rise like the phoenix here. You, you are rising like the phoenix here. That's what I'm seeing here with this chariot energy. This is the overall energy of the reed. You're rising like a phoenix here. You are uh, rising above the ashes. You are, you know, not letting this get you down. As much as it's hurting you, you're ready to have a new phase here. You're ready to rekindle. You're ready to change your energy here. You're surrendering. surrendering 
surrendering to the universe here. You're waiting and not rushing into anything and letting nature take its course, i.e. the universe. You know, you are understanding why this separation occurred and you're in this, you know, glow up energy where you're taking care of yourself and you're focusing on yourself here. Um, so that's why we've got the Phoenix here. You're in a new phase here and then we have healthy choices. You really cannot make this up, right? Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Duh exactly what i've just been speaking about you are focused on yourself you are really glowing here with this chariot energy you've got the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life again can't make this stuff up more transformation energy i do feel like you know this connection is over at least at this point in time because you are now focused on yourself okay from the bottom of the uh Wecular oracle we have got break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future I'm not going to say anything more there, guys. Like, this is a very spiritual message. It is, it's very clear. It's very crystal clear where it's going. It's exactly what I would expect. Um, but I'm kind of almost like thinking, wow, like, are these, connect, are these messages all connected together so easily? I don't even have to do any work here. It's literally straightforward. It's, it's obvious what the connection... It's obvious what the message is here, right, from spirit. It's obvious what your angels are trying to tell you, what, what spirit's trying to tell you, what the universe is trying to tell you. It's all extremely clear. It almost seems like a very clear, straightforward message that is just going in succession here. So again, break the chain. Uh, your ancestors are behind you here. You're healing the past and you are, um, you know, rewriting the future, quite literally. Next card, soul family, calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. And I feel like that's you um, focusing on yourself and your friends here. I do feel as though your friends are here helping you. And we did get that message, remember. You know, let your friends help you, which, was, which is behind the finances and career card from the Romance Angel Oracle. I feel like your friends are really helping you here and you guys are working together here to build yourself up again. Um, your friends, are, you know, they really have your back is what I'm seeing Pisces. And it's a beautiful energy. And then, oh my gosh, from that, I didn't see this before. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to keep going here. And then we have the awakening energy. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Oh my mother fucking God. Like I'm, se I'm seriously blown away. Look at this energy. And then I have the priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? You are literally a leader. Look at this. Look at this chariot energy. Does she look like someone who's going through it? This is someone here who knows their worth, who is bossing up, who is in a really abundant, positive manifestation energy. Someone who is just happy in and of themselves and they're building their life, they're rebuilding their life, they're rebuilding their future, they're, they're ready to rewrite the future here. You know, they, they're calling in their tribe with their friends, their friends are behind them. They know, oh, they're surrendering to the universe, they're waiting and not rushing anything. They are, you know, changing their energy. Like this is just literally a very, very straightforward spiritual message. I'm blown away here, guys. The age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. And I do feel that, you know, whatever has happened here, you've been training for this. You're, you're spiritually awakened enough that you can get through this. I just cannot believe this message. It is one of the most, it actually is the most spiritual, um, straightforward message that I've received in a long time. There is no effort here for me. Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. Again, the universe is absolutely 100% behind you. We spoke about this. You're surrendering to the universe. You're surrendering to a power. You are waiting and not rushing this. You're letting nature take its course. Oh my goodness. Deep replenishment. Retreat. Rest. Be held. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Oh my gosh. Honestly, guys, I really cannot make this up. Seeing the light, having a divine plan. I'm literally blown away. I'm going to have to stop there because I need to keep going, but that... The work your light here, um, Oracle, is, is literally um, glowing up for me. I feel like it's very, very significant for this message. So take it as it resonates, guys. I'm, I'm super happy for you, but I'm seeing someone here who is um, who knows their worth and is going through very, very spiritual um, awakening here. You're raising above the, uh, you're rising above as a phoenix. You're coming out of the ashes here. You're rewriting the future. You have your friends behind you. You're having an awakening. You're in priestess energy, high priestess energy. I'm hearing, you know, um, you're ready to step up and lead in this new beginning. Uh, you've been training for this for a long time. You're ready to leap, and, and the universe will catch you here. You're replenishing yourself here. You're, you know, resting, retreating, but also, you know, knowing, you know, that you're going to leap ahead here. You're taking a break, uh, getting off the treadmill here. <laughs> Oh my god, you're glowing up so badly. I can't even freaking... Am but you know what, guys? It's not finished here. I I'm not finished here. Raise your vibration. You're already there, guys. Love yourself. I asked for two and I got a whole bunch. Correct your mistakes. So I took what I got. Reflect on your truth. 
be of service. Do something different, which we have again. Do something different. Change your energy. We got that from the Work Your Light Oracle. Like, come on, guys. This is amazing energy. And look forward. You are literally looking forward. This is you, Pisces. You are literally, you're only going forward here. Your overall energy of the reading is the chariot. You are charging towards success and victory here. You know exactly what you want and where you're going. I cannot make this stuff up. I just cannot believe this reading, guys. I'm mind blown by this reading. I cannot exp express that enough, right? Whew. All right, the bottom of the love oracle, which we got the weight, don't rush into this, allow nature to take its course. The bottom of the deck, sorry, the top of the deck, trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Pisces, again, transformation. You're transforming here because something here was not quite right. The connection was not quite fulfilling you here. The bottom of the deck from the overall energy with the chariot here, I have got the devil here. Now that is here for a reason. This person that you were connecting with, Pisces, was someone who was more focused on other things at this point in time. It could have been even obsessively focusing on other things I'm hearing. It could have been very unhealthy. They could have had toxic habits, um, addictions, behaviours, ways of thinking even, you know, that were very um, toxic for the connections. So you had to sort of retreat here and focus on yourself. This to me is like a Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups energy. Someone who knows where they're going and what they're doing. They don't really need anyone else here to fulfill them. If this is not what's going to be for them, then they're okay to move upon here. They're, they're rewriting their future here. They're ready to change their energy. They're ready to surrender to the universe. They're ready to wait and, and not rush anything here. They're ready to you know have what they deserve here with the chariot energy. Like I really cannot make this stuff up. From the tarot, let's go ahead. The death. Very first energy from the tarot. Death. Overall energy from the tarot is death. There's been an ending here. We know that. Separation is here. This person was not quite ready for you at this point in time. Uh, then we got the uh, Knight of Cups here. This shows me someone who is wanting to come in here and apologize. I do feel as though your person, Pisces, probably wants to apologize about the way this ended. I feel as though it could have happened very abruptly um, with the Axe energy here. They may have literally cut you out very abruptly and very quickly uh, without warning. Um, I feel like you kind of, you know, obviously you're very intuitive here, Pisces. You kind of felt an ending coming in, but this person may have done it very callously, very coldly is what I'm hearing. They may have not even been considerate of your, feel of your feelings, of your thoughts, and just, you know, just cut you off so quickly and so abruptly here the devil is here for a reason right this person was focusing on their finances with the six of pentacles here this person was potentially you know giving to two areas of their life trying to um you know give more to work than they were to you this is about imbalance this six of pentacles it can be about balance but i feel as though this message is represented the other way was in balance you know your person pisces was focused on their career and finances and they weren't really focusing on this connection they were giving more to their finances than their career than they were to the connection um, so, you know, very toxic energy. This person could have even been a gambler, a drinker, you know, had addictions, whatever. There was some, there's a reason this devil is here. This person has some toxic behavior, uh, so, some toxic energy, some toxic way of thinking, way of feeling, way of believing. Something is not quite right about them, and I think you will know this if this is your message. So um, I do feel as though they know they need to apologize here, and they do have a lot of love for you still, I feel. Despite whatever's happened here, this person does love you, I feel, or has, has emotions for you still. Um, but they were focused on other areas of their life at the time due to addictions, due to toxic behaviours, due to, due to um, very unhealthy thinking, imbalanced thinking as well, the Six of Pentacles. You know, that they thought that this was all that and more, having to have money in the bank, having to have a good job, having to have status, people respect them and love them and worship them was more important at the time. So I do see them like coming sort of, you know, doing the walk of shame here. This is my walk of shame card, you know, wanting to apologise and feeling very guilty and wrong, feeling very guilty about what they've done here. And here we have them in the heart of the spread showing up as this five of cups energy so yeah very like i said guilty remorseful feeling like crap for what they've put you through here it didn't happen at the time i'm kind of seeing this as a later energy i feel like after a little bit of time has gone by here they've realized what they've lost here they've realized what they've done they've kind of had a bit of a wake up here um and they realize that you know what they've done to you has had a ripple effect on their life i feel like their, their life has changed as a result so they're feeling very remote you know very remorseful very guilty about the way they ended this um they do want to communicate here this page of pentacles pages about communication pentacles are about you know new beginnings or um this page of pentacles can also be like a secret admirer energy for me this is someone that wants to offer just a light-hearted message something you know not too serious not too um you know deep this is someone that just wants to say hey i'm really sorry about what's happened here can we talk about this can we maybe meet up and have a chat 
about what's happened. They can be younger than you, but they don't have to be. It's just a, a less mature kind of energy. Someone perhaps who's not got a full blown message at this point. They're just trying to touch, you know, sort of um, test the waters and see how you respond, Pisces. Queen of Wands here, I do feel as though your person sees you as extremely attractive. I feel like they're very attracted to you. There's no problems there. And they see you as someone who's bossing up, very confident, who gets what they want, who goes after what they want, who isn't afraid to go after what they want. Fiery energy here. Um, you may be a fire sign, but it could just be, you may have fire placements rather, but it could just be that they see you as someone very confident and very, um, you know, able to get what you want here when you need it and, and moving forward here. Okay, then we have this Two of Pentacles here. I do feel as though this was your person uh, juggling between uh, whatever was going on here. You know, this ended because uh, your person, Pisces, was giving too much, I feel, to their career um, and, to their, and to their pentacles, their, their money. They were more focused on what was happening with their bank balance the year, um, with what people thought about them, with whatever toys and material things that they had in the 3D world was more focused on that than they were in the connection. So there was an imbalance here. It could be two people, but I'm feeling more like um, career and finance was just really top of the game for this person. Um, Ten of Swords, you know, you were stabbed in the back over and over again. Betrayal, heartbreak. This person caused a very shocking, unexpected end is what I see because we do have the axe here, you know, and you've had to rise above out of this like the phoenix here. And the Grim Reaper is here for a reason, along with the health, you know, with the healthy choices. You had to choose yourself first, first here. You had to choose yourself first here. You had to... Um, focus on your own health and well-being here which is why we have the healthy choices but this person literally cut you out like a grim reaper they axed you here with with an axe you know you've risen above here which is great but you know this person did actually focus on their career and finances here and was stabbed you in the back here repeatedly you know really difficult connection for you really difficult ending if you was what i'm seeing but of course we have the eight of pentacles here again someone focusing on career and finance this person was i can't make this any clearer pisces this person if this is your message was more focused on themselves on their material wealth on their 3d world on whatever toys and things that they pride the, prided themselves on i'm hearing on what people thought of them their status their money their career their whatever this person was more focused on what people thought about them and their money in the bank and their job and their career than anything else they're putting themselves first or very vain very selfish i'm just seeing someone very selfish at the moment you know work 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 and uh not a lot not, not a lot of time and thought given to you and the connection despite how much you guys had here it seemed it feels like you had a, a, an amazing connection but they just kind of neglected that at the time but it is timing is very important um in connections it is very important some of us kind of go through periods where at, at periods of time our, our career and our work and our you know financial uh, status is more important than our relationships and i feel like that's kind of what's happened here i feel like you were focusing on the career maybe you've been through this or maybe you're not very focused on finances and money you're more focused on your connections and how they you know and what they mean to you and i feel like this kind of person this person that you were with pisces was um at a time when they were really focused on that maybe they've had a really poor uh, maybe they grew up you know without a lot of money without a lot of resources and you know now they're at a place where they're kind of earning a little bit it's kind of given them a little bit of a, a taste for it and they're becoming a little bit more focused on that at that point in time um yeah take it as it resonates and then i've got the judgment here <laughs> so they want you to forgive them they want a second chance here they want a judgment call to be made um, they're hoping that you can forgive them for their awful, crappy, shitty behaviour that they that they put on you because they're focused on other things outside of the connection. They're focused on their pentacles here. Very clear message here. Two of pentacles, eight of pentacles, page of pentacles, finances and career, you know, acts. This person was very much focused on their finances is what I'm seeing. Um, and then we have the three of wands here to close out the read. Um, yeah, again, expansion, growth. This person was looking for something they didn't have. This person was looking for greener pastures. This person was looking for on the other side of the fence, on the other side, on the other side of whatever. This person was looking for something they did not have. This person was seeking something that they didn't think that they had. They were looking for something that they could not find. This person was looking for, um, you know, to be accepted by their peer group, to be accepted by the, the people that they worked with, to be accepted by family, friends, whoever it may be, or it could have just been all in their head that they needed to do this. This person was focused on finances, career, money, 3D stuff, you know, material wealth, material gain, so that they could be um, looked upon a certain way by those around them. 
very sad energy, isn't it? Because they chose this over love at the time. So this is someone who was looking for greener pastures here, waiting for ships to sail in, waiting for money to come in. 2025, 25, 25 on the clock, guys, if that means anything to you. Check your angel numbers. Um, but yeah, this is someone that was looking for something else that they felt they didn't have. And I feel like they just kind of misled themselves here. They thought they needed something else. They thought that they needed, they thought they were missing something here. I feel I'm hearing. You know, they thought that there was something better on the other side here. They thought there was something on the other side that they couldn't see that was going to be better for them. 3D thinking again, you know. So um, feeling discontented in the connection and seeking more, you know. Seeking more than they had um, and, and, you know, focusing on other areas here and not on the connection. All right, guys, um, very clear message that I have here. Let's just get some final advice for you. I'm going to keep this reading a little bit shorter. I'm going to use my... Um, uh, light sees tarot here. Let's get some final advice for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know in relation to this? Very, very clear message. What's going to happen here for Pisces um, in love? What's happening for Pisces? I'm seeing you guys um, as very single right now. You are focusing yourself here. You're enjoying time with friends, family, um, and even your pets, I'm seeing. Uh, you're doing pretty well here. You're waiting here. You're not rushing into anything. You're letting nature take its course here. You're dancing with life and doing something different and switching up your energy. You could, I'm hearing you could have even been taking up new hobbies um, and other experiences that you haven't done before, things you've never done before. You're definitely switching up your energy here. You could have taken up dance. You could have taken up cycling. You could have taken up just anything. I'm seeing you doing things differently because you realize that, you know, um, expanding your energy is going to expand the people that you meet and potentially you could meet someone new and have a new love interest. You're surrendering here to the universe and letting it take you where it takes you. Um... And I did pull um, some energies here from the self-love deck, and I did that purely because I felt this energy was all about self-love, right? So I got a few um, cards from that. I respect my own boundaries. Again, I feel like you really have put your boundaries up here after what's happened in this connection. You're not going to let this happen again. You are doing something different here. Oop. You are doing something different here. You see you doing things differently here. You, you are taking up new hobbies here. That's what I'm seeing. You could be doing things very differently to the past. You're trying to be of service. This could be to animals, I'm hearing. Um, or just to, you know, you might be volunteering your time. I'm seeing you doing something that's, you know, that involves giving back to people that you care about. It could even be just friends and family. You are reflecting on your truth here. You know exactly what it is that you want and where you're going with the uh, chariot energy. You are correcting the mistakes of the past. You are definitely loving yourself. Uh, you are definitely looking forward and you are definitely raising your vibration. I cannot make this, um, you know, you cannot make this stuff up. It's so clear here what's happening here. Um, so you are now respecting your own boundaries here, Pisces. You are the author of your own story. These are the My Self Love Oracle deck. And I got that out specifically because this messaged me, to me, felt like you're raising, you know, you're rising above the ashes, ashes here as the Phoenix. You are going towards a whole brand new beginning here. You're rewriting the future. You are surrendering to a power greater than you. You are waiting. You are changing your energy. You are switching things up and having something beautiful here. You're looking forward here, loving yourself and having and raising your vibration here. You know, cannot make this up, stuff up. You're correcting your mistakes. You know, you're reflecting on the truth here. You're doing something different. I see new hobbies, new, and you're being of service. You could be a volunteer or you could be actually helping animals or other, whoever needs you, I'm feeling. Finally, I've got the I am free here. I do feel like you feel very free right now. This um, chariot energy for me from this deck is all about freedom here. You are enjoying time with your animals. You're enjoying, enjoying time doing your hobbies, enjoying time with friends. Whatever it is that you enjoy doing, you're just focusing on that right now. You know, you're out of this connection. You're enjoying what you have right now, right? You're a phoenix. You're rising above here. You're rewriting the future with your soul family. You're not doing it alone. And you are raising your vibration here. Cannot make this stuff up. You are now the high priestess, which is the energy we got from this particular deck. I might have to put that in the title. That's so amazing. All right, let's finish off with um, an overall energy, uh, some overall advice here for you, Pisces. I love this reading. I love this reading so much. Oh my gosh, we've got the lovers. Love is coming in for you. It does look as though you're going to have a choice here. It does look as though there is potential love coming in for you guys. It could be a Gemini. It could be any zodiac sign. Lovers. Wow. What's the other advice for Pisces? What's coming in for Pisces, Spirit, Guides, Going, Angels, and the Universe? What else? Wow. King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So, guys, after just been speaking about this um, Six of Pentacles that we received in this particular spread, you know, there was imbalance here. Someone was giving more to one part of their life than the other. 
And we do know that Pisces, it looks as though your person was more focused on finances and career here, on their money in the bank, on their status, on people, what people thought of them, on their toys, on their material wealth in the 3D world. So it does look as though that's going to be balanced out karmically here. And, you know, the balance is going to be restored here is what I'm seeing. So I do feel as though this person that you meet uh, with this lover's energy, this person that is going to have a beautiful love connection with you, could be a soulmate I'm hearing, could be a twin flame. Um, this person um, is going to show you the balance and, you know, give you what you deserve here. This person is not going to leave things in balance between the two of you in this connection. And you're not going to feel like you're being, you know, but this person is choosing um, their finances and their career over you and cutting you out like has happened in the past. Um, oh, we did have the King of Swords. Now with that King of Swords energy, where are we? With the King of Swords, I feel like this is someone who's going to be very open and upfront about how they feel. This is a truth seeker. This is someone who speaks their truth, a very good communicator. I do feel as though this person that you meet um, is going to be someone, it could be an air sign potentially, but someone here who wants to um, speak their truth and tell you exactly how they feel. And they're not going to beat around the bush here. They're going to be very upfront and honest with you, and they're going to put you as a priority. I'm seeing um, the... Um, I'm seeing the magician here, someone that potentially has been manifesting someone like you to come into their life. Let's get one final energy here. What have we got here now? Can I get a final message for Pisces? Final advice for Pisces in love. What's coming in for Pisces after this ending? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. We have got the Two of Cups and the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is literally about wish fulfillment. This is you and that single abundant energy. You have everything you need. Here you are showing up, bossing up here. You have everything you need here. You're happy and content with your, you know, the help of your friends. You're blowing up. You're having new energy here. I spoke about all of that energy that we saw. Um, you are doing very well right now, right? You've got wish fulfillment coming in here with this nine of cups. You've got your well-being. You've got your happiness. Look how happy this person is. This is literally you enjoying life right now, enjoying time with your friends, enjoying whatever hobbies that you're engaging in. I do see you doing things differently here. You're doing things differently. You're raising your vibration. You're doing things differently is what I'm seeing. You've learned valuable lessons from this connection. And here you are with the two of cups new love coming in here for sure we already spoke about that um you know someone who's going to be very fair to you someone who's going to give equally here someone who's going to be a uh, divine count counterpart here with this lovers here someone who's going to be honest and upfront and speak their truth i'm not going to leave you out in the cold here i'm feeling but you are either way rising above the ashes here with this phoenix energy you are free you are the author of your own story and you've created your own boundaries here pisces cannot make this stuff up what's at the bottom of the deck ha <laughs> Seven of Cups, you're going to have choices here. You may even have choices in love, I'm hearing. You may have a choice between two people. We do have an energy of uh, having a choice between two. Having a choice between two. The Lovers is about having a choice between two when it's represented that way. And potentially having a choice between multiple love offers. Who knows, right? But the Four of Wands here shows me that there is going to be stability, happiness, and victory in the end. This is about the 11-11 you know, card. This could be definitely your twin flame, your soulmate coming in here. Um, you're going to have stability and, and a stable home here. This is about you know the four walls that create a home. Magician, cannot make this stuff up. Manifesting a new beginning. I feel like you're both manifesting each other. I just spoke about that. All right, guys, that's the message I have for you. Please don't forget, if you like this video, if it gave you any value, please don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help my channel to grow. It helps it be received by more people. Um, share it with someone if it might help someone else. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, Pisces. Bye. Great reading.